Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft have grown substantially in size since the advent of air travel. Imagine how large their factories can be when planes are as big as the A380 and as advanced as the Boeing 777. In 2007, the largest passenger plane in the world, the Airbus A380, was first launched as part of Airbus's plan to challenge Boeing's supremacy in the 747 market. Under the original codename A3XX, work started in 1990, and the program was formally launched in 2000. Unprecedented multinational collaboration is required in the manufacturing process. The UK produces the wings, Germany and France make the fuselage parts, while Spain produces the tail surfaces. These enormous components are transported to Toulouse, France, for final assembly via specialized cargo ships and the special Beluga XL aircraft. The scale of the aircraft necessitated significant facility changes, such as reinforced runways and new assembly hangars. About 4 million parts are needed for each A380, and 1,500 businesses from 30 nations provide these. Electrical and hydraulic systems are already installed in the fuselage sections upon arrival. Using complex jig techniques to attach main components, the final assembly takes roughly six to eight months. Before delivery, a thorough testing procedure, interior furnishing, and installing the aircraft's four engines are all part of the process. The final A380 was delivered to Emirates Airlines in 2021, marking the end of manufacturing. A dedicated paint hanger, big enough to fit the Airbus's A380's 79-meter length and 80-meter wingspan, is necessary for the painting process, which is a colossal job. The naked aluminum skin is thoroughly cleaned and prepared before the start of the procedure. To prevent corrosion, painters first apply a priming layer free of chromate. The primary paint application employs a base coat, clear coat method, free of chromates, which complies with contemporary environmental regulations. About 3,600 liters of paint is needed to cover the 3,100 square meters of surface area of an average A380. Up to 30 painters work in shifts during the roughly two-week painting procedure. To guarantee uniform coverage and reduce overspray, they employ electrostatic spray guns. Before applying the following coat, the previous one must be fully cured. Complex logo and design masking are frequently needed for airline liveries. Cabin integration, the process of interior furnishing the A380, starts after the aircraft's structural assembly. Through well-planned installations, the empty shell is converted into a fully functional passenger airplane. Installation of the necessary systems, such as insulation panels, air conditioning ducts, and electrical wiring begins the procedure. Galleys and seats are supported by floor grid frameworks. The floors of the top and lower decks are strengthened to support the weight of the equipment and passengers. After that, cabin workers install the ceiling panels, 
overhead bins, and sidewall panels. Because of its enormous size, the aircraft can be customized to include amenities like lounges, bars, and showers based on airline requirements. It is possible to install up to 16 galleys and eight crew rest facilities. Tracks enable multi-design possibilities, and seat assembly adheres to a precise plan. Every seat needs connections for oxygen masks, entertainment, and electricity. Installation of carpet, positioning of emergency equipment, and comprehensive testing of all cabin systems before delivery are examples of final touches. At Everett, Washington, where Boeing produces fuselage for its 777 aircraft, the Fuselage Automated Upright Build, or FAUB, technology is used. Thousands of fasteners are installed using this novel method, which involves paired robots moving in unison around the structure. The fuselage panels are manually positioned by human personnel and then precisely drilled and fastened by robots. With automated guided vehicles, or AGVs, for movement and components mounted on wheels, the facility boasts a versatile configuration. The new 777X is one of six primary manufacturing stations that can handle any 777 variation. Boeing uses a state-of-the-art robotic system called the Automated Spray Method, or ASM, to paint the wings of their 777 aircraft. ASM maintains wings stationary as dual-gun robots apply various paint coatings concurrently, in contrast to their earlier techniques that required numerous booths and dozens of painters. Superior gloss and consistency are delivered by the robot's accurate application across the wing's surface. While retaining higher quality standards, this automated procedure drastically cuts the painting time from hours to minutes. Boeing's higher production rate of 100 airplanes per year is supported by this system, which represents a major technological development in aircraft manufacturing. Advanced robotic systems are used for a thorough non-destructive inspection, or NDI, of Boeing's 777 wing spars. The automated procedure uses ultrasonic vibrations propagated through water to find minute defects, foreign material inclusions, or air pockets that can jeopardize structural integrity. The inspection equipment is kept in the best possible position against the spar surface, thanks to the inspection cell's movable POGOs, or precision contact points. The enormous wing spar's whole length is scanned by this automated technology, which produces thorough maps of internal structures and possible flaws. Prior to assembly, the procedure guarantees that every wing spar satisfies strict safety and quality requirements. The final assembly of the Boeing 777 is performed in Everett, the largest facility in the world by volume. After major components are delivered from vendors worldwide, the fuselage sections are assembled on a moving assembly line. One crucial stage is the wing-to-body join, which calls for the exact alignment of the enormous structures. The next step is systems integration, which includes installing avionics, electrical, and hydraulic systems. After the engines and landing gear are installed, the interior furnishings are put in place. 
All systems on each aircraft are thoroughly tested before they are brought into the paint hangar. Before the maiden flight, final checks include fuel system verification, engine runs, and flight control tests. Every Boeing 777 undergoes a critical weighing procedure with sophisticated scales before delivery. Weight engineers keep an eye on and fight weight creep, which is a slow rise in aircraft weight brought on by modifications to the design and new rules. Because it impacts carbon emissions and fuel efficiency, every pound counts. In just five years, Boeing's crew has effectively lowered the weight of the 777-300ER by more than 500 pounds by employing creative engineering solutions, such as revamping speaker systems and adopting lighter insulating materials. Business owners require smaller yet luxurious aircraft. A thorough analysis of consumer needs and market research is the first step in designing a business jet. Before advancing to complex CAD modeling for exact technical specifications, preliminary conceptions are first sketched by hand. The selection of materials emphasizes lightweight, upscale components. For structures, carbon fiber composites are usually used, while for interiors, premium leathers, exotic woods, and premium aluminum are used. Ergonomics and luxury are combined in the seat design, which uses premium foam and specially stitched leather for optimal comfort. Advanced virtual reality technology is integrated into Gulfstream's G650ER manufacturing process to optimize cabin layout and conduct ergonomic testing. Before actual construction starts, engineers utilize augmented reality goggles to see and modify interior rooms. With automated methods for robotic assembly and composite material layup, the manufacturing process strongly emphasizes accuracy. While preserving traditional handcrafting methods, interior craftsmen employ digital templating to cut materials precisely. Gulfstream's painting process blends creativity and cutting-edge technology in modern, climate-controlled spaces. The extensive procedure begins with complete stripping to bare metal, followed by a careful corrosion inspection. After hand filling and sanding each rivet to prevent further leaching, technicians apply etch and allodyne treatments before priming. Their special reverse stripping technique applies graphics straight onto the primer to counteract wind damage. Painters maintain precise standards for unique liveries while achieving uniform coverage using electrostatic spray equipment and sophisticated sanders. The Gulfstream aircraft experience embodies state-of-the-art aviation technology with an emphasis on passenger comfort and speed. Newer models have improved performance capabilities and sophisticated flight technologies, building on the success of the G650. The clean sheet design concept pushes the limits of speed and range by integrating user feedback and new technology. Every aircraft offers a unique travel experience, upholding Gulfstream's heritage of establishing industry standards that others imitate. Aircraft design is developing all the time. 
from massive airliners to business jets, the designs are becoming more efficient, and the production and assembly are faster. Who knows where we will find ourselves in another 10 years' time? That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.